It is the countdown to Christmas. Hello, kia ora. I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us for our special Saturday update as we take a look at the weather going into Christmas, coming out of Christmas, and heading towards January the 1st. So let's have a look, see what is happening at the moment. So we've got this area of low pressure in the Tasman Sea. This is now pulling down in conjunction with a high out to the east a very warm subtropical airflow that's coming down over a big part of the country at the moment, especially the North Island. So we're expecting a fair amount of humidity, cloud, and when you get that subtropical flow and a big blocking high to the east, you can end up with sort of drizzly areas of uh, patchy rain, which then breaks up, and then in the afternoons you get those isolated thunderstorms, uh, usually in inland areas. So we've got that you know, kind of classic summer humidity coming down at the moment, and the low pressure out here is part of the reason why there's a little bit more of that um, thunder activity coming in. It's a bit of instability in the atmosphere. But many places are actually dry, especially in the east, and we're also going to bring you a uh, rainfall map which covers right through until the 1st of January to kind of get your bearings on just how much rain is on the way. So this is how we're looking for Christmas Eve at 1 p.m. on Sunday. There is the high, there is the low pressure zone. So in the middle, that's the nor'wester. And it's going to be pretty warm, hot, for those of you in the east who get the sun. Those in the west, cloudy, very warm nights. Overnight lows between sort of 17 and 21 degrees for the top of the country. And a sort of a mixture of drizzly stuff and then some isolated heavy showers that will form later in the day. So if you want the driest weather, that is along the eastern side of New Zealand. So let us go into Christmas Day. Not the most perfect forecast for everybody, but it's not as bad as it could be either. So let's start with the area that we're probably gonna get the most amount of complaints from, which is the top of the country. Got that humid airflow coming through. So it's a humid subtropical nor'wester. Overnight temperatures, 19s, 20s across the north. You'll have a mixture of uh, large dry areas, drizzly spells, and then in the mix, some heavy falls. And some of those could have thunder into the afternoon. So you'll see that thunder icon showing up, but not everyone will have thunder. Once they form, they sort of move in one line, and then they'll be gone by nighttime. So we'll be keeping an eye on that. It won't be raining all day for everybody, but there will be this area of showers. And so you can track them on the rain radar. That will be the best way on Christmas Day to track those downpours. The eastern side looks mostly dry. There is a southerly change coming into Southland as the day wears on, and we've still got some patchy rain and showers hanging around the west coast as well. Go to ruralweather.co.nz if you're going away camping or you're planning anything outdoors. The rural weather graphs are just very good visually to kind of figure out, oh, there's the risk part for wind or rain or whatever it is that you're looking for. So that is Christmas Day. So let's move into Boxing Day. Again, these are mostly showers that are forming. They may be a little bit drizzly in the morning, clears up, and then you might get some very heavy showers, maybe with thunder, that form in the afternoon. So it is summer weather, but it's you know gonna be a little bit showery. And so some of those are heavy, that's worth pointing out. Further to the south though, high pressure nearby keeps things mostly dry and settled. And if you think our weather's bad, I mean, look what's going on over here, Sydney to Melbourne, not very flash at all. So let's get into December 31st. This is New Year's Eve, and this might be a more positive forecast for many of you. This is not locked in this far out, but we're starting to see high pressure to the north, windy westerlies to the south. That usually means it's warm and dry, especially for the eastern side of the country. So maybe a little bit of wet weather in Fiordland, possibly a shower around Taranaki or Kapiti Coast. But I do think many places based on that map, if it stays true, will be dry. Now let's go into the 1st of January. As we kick off 2024, I think this is what a lot of you are wanting. High pressure, westerly winds for many places, that keeps places, uh, most holiday areas dry and quite hot. And so I think we'll be kicking off January, if this is accurate based on this map, pretty much summer-like as we go into January. And yes, we've got low pressure up here around Fiji, but the blocking highs that we get a lot more of in El Nino, different to last summer, we had La Nina and low pressure all in this zone. Now we're seeing more high pressure. It's certainly not as dry as some of you might have thought, but it is worth pointing out. December's rainfall is usually around 70 to 110 millimeters around the country. That's very generically speaking, but that's what we get. 
So here is what is coming in for the rest of the month and really to the 1st of January. Not a huge amount of rain in the east here. The blue is right at the bottom of the scale. So up to five millimeters for these eastern areas. Now the uh, darker shading up here around the North Island at red, that takes you into the 30 to uh, 50, 60 millimeter mark. Depends on those thunderstorms, exactly where they fall. And you know, just down the road may miss out and have a much lower rainfall total. So this to me looks patchy, showery for the north, proper rain down here on the west coast. You're talking about 100 to 150 millimetres coming down for Fiordland, which is also quite normal for this time of the year. So it's not maybe the most perfect timing for some of that rain, but that is what is on the way. Now, before I go, we've got the live Santa tracker up at weatherwatch.co.nz. It's also on our app uh, and you can see it now. Obviously, nothing to show at the moment, but Santa is going to be appearing, we expect, sometime around 1 p.m., on Christmas Eve, tomorrow Sunday. So please do check this out. It will be updated once an hour all the way through until 11 p.m. when by law, we have to switch it off because you can't know exactly where Santa is, obviously. So please do check that out. The Weather Watch Santa Tracker back again and it is up now already on our website and app. Have a fantastic and safe Christmas. Thank you so much for all the support, but we are back again next week on Thursday with our next New Zealand update. So please do have a great few days and our website weatherwatch.co.nz and ruralweather.co.nz will have the very latest forecast for you. They are updated every one hour and also the uh, news updates will be up there each day as well. Thanks very much for joining me. Have a great Christmas. We'll see you next week. <laughs>